Ben married the woman he thought he would spend the rest of his life with. They travelled the world together, got married and had a son. But in September 2012, leaving their friend's house with their toddler in his buggy, a car suddenly veered around the corner. Ben and Jackson jumped out of the way, but Desreen was killed. The lives of her husband and son were changed forever. Ben's grief consumed him. Together he and his two-year-old boy battled confusion, anxiety and distress. All of a sudden he was asking me, where's mummy gone and why can't she come back? How do you answer questions like that? Those questions were never something I needed to worry about though, because stuff like this doesn't happen to people like me, right? Sadly, I learned the hard way that it does. Ben wanted answers and went online to find men in a similar position for advice and guidance, but he was unsuccessful. Frustrated, he decided to write his own blog to get his thoughts out there and perhaps help others as well. It now has an international audience. Now Ben and Jackson are moving on together. He's told his little boy that mummy didn't want to leave him. She would never have left out of choice, but she's gone away and won't be back. And Benjamin is here with me now. Or as I know him, Ben, because I should admit that we already knew each other, Ben, uh, before this happened for a long time. It was a year and a half, uh, we wrongly said two and a half years, but a year and a half since Desreen died. What's it been like? It's been, um, it's been chaotic. It's been so different every day. Um, sometimes you think that you're doing okay, and then other days, other minutes, everything changes. Something will happen that will just spark a memory off, and that can be really welcome or it can just be catastrophic really. And now you're an author because you've compiled a lot of the blog and added new material to your book which is called It's Not Raining Daddy, It's Happy. Explain the title, they're words from Jackson right? That's right, um, he was at nursery one day and I was back at work, I took about four months out and then returned to work. I had an awful day, really really emotional day, couldn't really concentrate at work and I just wanted to get to nursery, get him out of there, avoid all the uh, other parents and, and, and just get back home. And he saw me and he just lit up and daddy, daddy, and he ran over. And I said to him, come on, Jackson, it's time to leave. We, let's, go, let's go, it's raining outside though, you're gonna need to put your hood up. And he said, it's not raining, daddy, it's happy. And that really summed up what life's been like with him. It's been, you know, dark clouds all the time, but he's, you know, he lives in the moment and, uh, and it's hard not to experience those moments of happiness when he's around. Because Jackson lives in the moment, is it a worry that he might forget what you remember? about yeah. Desiree. Oh, I mean, I'm petrified of that. He was only two years old when this happened. And, you know, everything I've done since is really about fighting that. You know, writing the book on a very personal level has been about capturing memories of Desiree for him to hold on to so he can learn about her and he can, you know, replace the memories that he's forgotten when he's older. Because it was a, a freak accident that killed her, really. It was a car that was out of control. Was something technical had gone wrong with it. And you both narrowly avoided it, but uh, Desiree was killed. That in itself, that shock is a yeah. hard thing to overcome without having to pour your life and soul into a blog and then a book. Yeah, well, in some ways, I think the shock created the blog because um, I didn't know, you know, I was, I was kind of emboldened by this shock. I had a lot of energy. I had a lot of resource in me. And, and yet I wasn't working. And, you know, I was just looking after a child in inverted commas. Um, but I needed to do something else. I needed to share. I needed to keep going and sharing this experience, really, so that I could show him how bad it was, really, one day and, and how he helped us all through it, too. But, but briefly, then, were you frustrated that there weren't the answers out there? There wasn't the support for particularly young widowers? Yeah. And, and are things changing for the better now? Well, what I've discovered is there was a support out there. I just expected it to come to me um, because when Jackson was born, a midwife came around to check that Desiree and he, he were all right. No one came to the house to do that. So I started the blog and wrote the book really in order for people to find me so that you know I could help him and I could also help other people in a similar situation. Glad to call you an author now. The book is out officially tomorrow. That's right. Thank you very much for coming in. Glad to see you. You too.